first of all, conferencing with students and having those small group discussions, one-on-one -on -one or small group, it is a very, very powerful tool to connect and create relationships with your students. As most educators know, the relationship you have with your students goes a long way in their learning. So having those small conversations and little group activities and, and just checking in with them through conferencing makes a big difference in your students' learning. Secondly, student misconceptions and misunderstandings can be caught quickly. When you meet with your students regularly, it doesn't have to be for a long amount of time. They, you're able to catch those little errors or misunderstandings they're making and correct them immediately. So you're not having a student continue on down the wrong path. You're able to correct those right away. Okay, you're able to close student gaps quickly and efficiently. So for reporting, for parent contact, anything like that, you have your notes. All you need to do is print a little sheet of paper or have it on your computer with student names and just jotting down a few little notes while you're working with each student. It takes a little bit of extra time, but the quality and the value of the data you're collecting and the documentation is definitely worth it in the end. You know all along the unit or the section or the concept how your students are doing. You, you feel more confident in your ability to, to move on to the next unit or subject and that you're not leaving somebody behind, definitely without knowing, and you're able to put in those supports quickly for your students. Conferencing with students doesn't have to take a long time. It can be just a few times a week, here and there. You can make a list of students that you want to touch base, base with each day. Um, but very powerful and worth your time and the data it provides you in the end is, is definitely worth the effort up front.